Okay, here we are, uh, May 30th, 2015, work party assembling uh, more of the floating islands. I'm just going to sit here and uh, record a whole, one whole island here. First the three socks go on, that's already taken care of. The next thing they're going to do is uh, slice open the, the socks so that there's room for the plants. Oops, forgot. The zip ties have to hold the socks down before the socks get cut. Okay. Okay, well, you can count on it. Here's two. Shh. What? Kirk? You're exactly correct. So why get to do it again? Okay, that's where it's Steve. Oops. Get one of those to Steve. I just figured out what. Kind of set them equidistant apart so the, the leaves have plenty of uh, growing. Okay, and then there these are go. ducks. Those are Steve's and those, these are ducks. What? We're fighting over uh... oh. her. <laughs> yeah, we're fighting over her. She's got plenty of So much fun. Yeah, we got it. Well, you're pre count uh, for the next one. That's what you're doing? No, I was thinking I needed six have a knife out there. <laughs> Anybody need a knife? I'm rusting one away in my pocket. Now. Okay, by that's the, fine. By the time the day is done, if it's a big order, I'm sure there'll be lots. Well, actually, they went through the mill last time, and I just WD opened them up, WD-40 them, and let them lay out for a little while, and they were fine. They're cheap ones. I bought them for this grant. So they're virtually disposable. What about you, Steve? You need a knife? I can, I can cut off the Alright. I can I can tell you a horror story about these knives. Oh, lovely. I was working with the open boxes. Okay, now Doug Wasmer is cutting, starting to make the cuts in the, the socks there. fencing. On the other side of the canal, we've got to come out into the canal with the fence. Really? The livestock have figured it out, and 
and they come around the fence, go into the canal, go back up on the land, go down, and then go back into the canal and eat the plants. So we need more fencing and more plants. Well, it is a partial success. I'll tell you okay, now it's time to install plants. Uh, uh, Doug Heim is the guy to ask about the exotic ducks. What are they, black whistling ducks? Black bellied whistling ducks. He said there's some on that canal. Showed them well, there was a pair yesterday that flew in. Yesterday. That is a good thing. But we need to replenish the plants back there for sure. Who owns the cattle? A guy by the name of Campisi. Um, all the property is owned by the Salesian Society, the sisters. And, but Campisi, they allow Campisi to graze his cattle on the property as well as he has some horses. And the deal is, is he's supposed to maintain the fence, and he doesn't. But they get to use the horses for their summer camp. And at one point, they were talking about, in fact, two years, two and a half years ago, they were saying, you know what, we're just going to tell them to take them someplace else. Because they were breaking through the fences and the children from the autistic school had a garden and they broke into the garden and just destroyed it. Uh, so they were very frustrated and he wouldn't repair the fences and he was supposed to bush hog it once a year and he hadn't done that in a couple of years. Just, you know. But he's still there and they have a new director, so I don't know. And the new director, I haven't worked with him. I know him real well and I've talked to him a lot, but I haven't worked with him a lot. Uh, he doesn't understand the uh, Yeah. I'm doing a video on it, so I'm... Yeah, the plants are going in pretty quickly here. Of course. Okay, that's it. The uh, socks have been put in, put in place, the plants are all in, and that's one completed floating island.